you know, I heard a rumor that someone around here put in an order for purple toed wine. I think it was me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm so excited to see you guys. And today we're doing something different for Wednesday. I'm just gonna call this one Wednesday. I don't expect this to take off because I do try to do like wine diaries on Friday, but I ordered some wine from Purple Toad. Yeah, I know. I, do I need it? No. Do I know where I'm gonna put it? No. But I figure I might as well get this over with. But anyway. I was at work minding my own business, checking my email at the end of the day, like a good girl, right? And I got an email. So, um, and I, I do love purple wine, uh, purple toad winery there in Paducah, Kentucky. And I've been buying their wine maybe, oh, for maybe two years now. Um, but yeah, it's, they have a nice sweet wine that I'm always drawn to the sweet wines. And I've had like their honey mist and I've had the Paducah white and strawberry jalapeno, my absolute favorite, but I've got like watermelon. I've got cotton candy. Um, I've got like chocolate flavored ones. So I've got quite a few from them over the years, but anyway. And so since the pandemic, since COVID, um, there used to be when you spent $70, you got free shipping, but because so many people couldn't get there, they lowered it to when you spend $40, you get free shipping, which is basically four bottles because most of their wines are like $13 and 44 cents. And now that they're open again, they haven't changed that yet. So it's still um, $40, you get free shipping. They ship to most states that, um, you know, there's a few states that who knows why they're not allowing uh, different liquor to be shipped there. But for the most part, they can ship to your state. And when you go to the website or the Facebook page, it'll tell you which um, states that they can't ship to. But anyway, I was checking my email. And um, so they had like a one day special where um, you're still going to get that for spend $40 and you get the free shipping. But if you bought six bottles, you get an extra 10% off. So who am I to, you know, they're, they're putting themselves out. They're doing it. I mean, I, I didn't want to be rude. So yeah, I bought some, but you know how I'm always drawn to the sweet wines and I'm getting into the drier, the deeper, darker, the red, the red ones, the ones that are kind of mysterious and dry and just have these flavors. So I wanted to add a couple of those that I haven't tried before from, from them. So the first one I got here is a Pinot Noir and I love the little toad emblems here. So their Pinot Noir, they say it's a blend of black cherry and raspberry, and it's aged in oak, and their sweetness scale goes one to six, and they've got the set of one being the driest there is. So looking forward to trying that. And then this one's pro a little bit, um, it's a Merlot, but it's called Shadow. And um, you know how I had that one that was mixed with blueberry not too long ago? This one's mixed with the blackberries. So again, this one's called Shadow, and so it's Merlot and Blackberry, and they have this as a three. Focus, please, on the sweetness scale. So that one should be good, maybe still a little on the light side, but still maybe a little on the, the drier side, the Merlot side, so it'll be a nice kind of sipping wine with a nice kind of flavor. Paducah White, I love this one. It's a blend between Riesling and Chardonnay. It's, to me, it's sweet, but they've got it rated two on the sweetness scale. And again, I do love this one. I've had this one before, so just thought I would get an extra one because you never know when you're going to need it. And you know how I wanted to do the Baduk? I wanted to do some peach wines. I wanted to have three bottles. I thought I had three bottles, but I only have two. I, yeah, I'd have no idea what happened to the other one. So I got a Paducah peach, and this one is rated four on their sweetness scale. So this one is peach flavored with a Chardonnay wine. So, okay, now I've got my three bottles waiting for some nice weather to do a little 
taste comparison. This one I've had before too. Um, this one is a, it's a really heavy sweet wine. Even though they've got this one rated as a four, it's called Honey Mist. It is good, but it is sweet. I mean, you just have half a glass and you are good because it is on the sweeter side. So this one, it's a blend of blackberry, honey, and tangerine, and it is good. I do love that one. And the one that I'm going to open tonight to try, even though I've had it before, but it's been probably a year, maybe two years since I got it. I think it was in the very first order I did. This one is the Cotton Candy. And this one, they say, is their number two bestseller. So I think it was sweet. I really don't remember if it tasted exactly like cotton candy, but we're going to give it a try. And I always forget this. So again, most of the wines, as I, they got a few like the, the aged ones, the drier ones that might run a little bit uh, higher. They also sell smaller ones, I think. So if a... A uh, bottle is like 750 milliliters. They have cans, well, that are like uh, 375. And I was going to pick up some of the ones that I hadn't done before to get it up to, just to, to kind of fill up the box. But then I got the six bottles and I thought, well, you know, I got enough. But someday I will probably try that for some of the flavors that I haven't tried before, just so that I can check them out without having a whole bottle. So I struggled to get that foil off at the top. So anyway, I'm going to open this up. I didn't even show this one. Yeah, because I didn't plan on opening it today, but I thought I might as well. And I'm sure it's still going to be good. Oh my God, it does. It smells like cotton candy. Pour a little bit in here. Candy. It's a nice light color here. Does it have any alcohol content? Let's see if it's on the label. This one's twelve percent alcohol. Alrighty. So cheers, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great work week so far. We are halfway through, so happy hump day, everyone. Hope you are doing whatever you can just to celebrate. We're in the middle of the week. Cheers, everyone. Mm. It tastes just like liquid cotton candy. I've got a cotton candy machine out there. I haven't used it because I kind of buried it when I got my nutcrackers out this year. But it tastes just like cotton candy. It is so, so good. This is a really nice summer wine. It's not summer yet. This is sweet. If you love the sweeter wines and you love cotton candy, this is great. If you live near Paducah, Kentucky, uh, that I would love to go there someday and just visit visit them and I've got a sweatshirt, I got a t-shirt, I got a little frog stopper. I've got I've tried to get a coffee cup a few times, but they keep sending me something else instead. So I've got like a nice big blue iced coffee glass, but yeah. But going there for taste testing and tours would be fun. So if you live in that area, I hope you if you do get a chance to go, if you well don't you don't like wine, don't go. But if you love wine tastings and you live in that area i'd love to hear your thoughts if you've been there and what do you think of these sweet wines what are your favorites i mean they've got like lemon flavors and i've had sangria before from them and i don't know but strawberry jalapeno is my absolute favorite cotton candy is coming close so anyway i want to thank you guys so much for stopping in spending part of your wednesday with me i know some of you are probably doing wellness wednesday so you can watch this on thursday Alrighty, cheers everyone hope you have a great rest of the week and we will see you friday for wine diaries take care everyone take care stay safe be kind to each other don't forget to enjoy life have some fun love you guys bye bye <music>